We're now going to talk about the differences between relative and absolute cycles. Inside of MOHO, you can isolate specific groups of bones, of objects, layers, and have them cycle, that is, repeat their animation over and over until you tell them otherwise. And this can be great to speed up different processes when you're animating out your rigs. And in this case, we're going to be using the tail as an example. So here, the tail is connected with three bones, and these bones are linked using this warp right here. So we have these bones set up, and the warp layer is going to be the one that facilitates the animation for that. And here, we're just going to add in some very basic animation to start. So we'll start at frame one, and I'm just going to bring this up using the transform bone tool, and I'll curve my tail in a little bit like this, and then I'll do more of an extreme bend like so. Then we're just going to go, let's say to 13, and bring this down a little bit, bring this down even more, and then bring this down so it's almost bending out like that. And then I'm going to just go back here to frame one and copy those keys on frame one and paste them on frame 24. So we basically just have this occurring right now. Now, if we wanted to loop this animation, we could easily do so. Let's just right click on the bones here that we are working on. Let's just right click on that white channel and choose the cycle. So now we have this occurring just like that. And you can see at 72, it does kind of kick back and that's because 72 is the end of the animation for us. So let's just put it up to a thousand and you can see if we just let it go, it's just going to continue to go back and forth. And we have a visual representation of that on the timeline. After we changed the keyframe to cycle, you can see that it has a blue arrow pointing back to frame two, meaning that's the frame it's going to use as the beginning of the loop. And we can also see this when we add a cycle, the keyframe window will be brought up and here absolute is set to two. So whenever you use absolute, it is referring to the actual number. Absolute means frame two. So if you're on frame 1000, it's going to go back to frame two of this animation and repeat it until it hits the end of that cycle. Relative, on the other hand, is going to only go back 22 frames in this case. And as you can see, since we're on frame 24, 22 frames back is actually going to be frame two. But if I were to come in here and adjust this, such as if I grab the end here and move it, you can see the arrow is moving along with us and it's only going to go back 22 frames. So even though we're at frame 48, 22 frames back is actually going to be frame 26. So that's how relative can work. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. But what we're going to actually demonstrate here is how we can stagger the animation using relative cycles. So right now as an absolute cycle, it's just going back and forth. All the bones are animating at once and that's okay, but we can create a more natural looking motion just by using these cycles. So on frame one, I'm actually going to use the select bone tool and I'm going to grab the top bone right here as well as the middle bone. So holding in shift and clicking or you can lasso however you wish to do it. Then on the bottom, we have the red channel. And we want to come in and just move that red channel to help create the staggered animation. So coming in here, we're just going to select this and we're just going to move it forward about six frames. So now if we come in here and play this out, you can see it already has a more floppy looking effect. Just by staggering out or delaying that animation a little bit, it just creates something a little bit more with the way it looks and how grounded the animation appears with the rig. So now let's come in here and do the same thing, but now we're just going to click on that end bone. Come over here, grab our keys, and we're just going to bring this out a little bit more. So we'll just do six more frames. So now if we come in here, you can see it creates this nice wavy effect just by coming in and simply staggering out those keys. It looks a lot less mechanical how we had it before where all the bones were moving at once. Here you have just that slight differentiation to create a nice looking bushy tail 
that is waving in the environment. Perhaps our character is happy. Maybe something else is going on. That's up for you to decide. But here, as you can see, relative and absolute cycles can really make a difference in how you play out your different effects with your bones.